Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on how to import a CD using iTunes. Now, I'm, at this stage, I'm assuming you've already installed, downloaded, and installed iTunes. Um, if you haven't, go do that now, um, and then watch this after you've finished. Um, so first, you want to begin by opening iTunes. So you know, you hit your start bar and find your iTunes icon, and it'll open it up. Come on, there we go. So now uh, we've got iTunes open. Um, now before you uh, insert your CD into your um, CD drive, it's best to check the uh, options that you've got set. Um, so in this left-hand corner up here, click this little uh, half-shaded box and go Preferences. Now once you've got your Preferences open, uh, what you need to look at is this section down here. So when you insert a CD, um, it's this gives you a range of options that you want to do. Show CD, play CD, ask to import, etc, etc. Um, when I insert a CD, I usually like to tell me um, straight away, do you want me to, do you want iTunes to import this CD? So I always have that selected. Um, and make sure you've got this ticked, automatically retrieve CD track names from the internet. What this does is it just, uh, iTunes connects to the internet and with the CD that you insert, um, it just drags all the file names and you know, sometimes the uh, artwork and stuff, it just does it all automatically for you. Um, it's just easier you know, and it just helps you organize your music collection a lot better. Um, and next you want to select import settings. Now the thing about iTunes is they always, uh, for some reason, leave the default on as AAC encoder. Um, I don't know why, but uh, most people use MP3s, so I always you know, change this to MP3s. MP3. Once you do this, though, it will uh, stay like that um, for good until you change it, change it to another format. Um, so just make sure your MP3 encoder is selected and the setting. Um, yeah, I mean, hundred good quality. That's that's 128 um, kilobytes per second is is not very good. Um, 192 kilobytes per second is still pretty average. I always go custom um, and make sure you got your 320 selected because that's you know obviously the best quality you can get through iTunes um, and you want you know if you're going to go to the effort of importing a CD you may as well get really good quality out of out of um, your music basically um, I don't usually change anything else here I just leave it to auto and yeah it's all, all good so click OK um, OK again so we know that it's doing 320 kilobytes per second stereo OK and OK. So your next step now is to insert the CD of your choice. So I'm just going to put my CD in my CD drive and get it going. And now, because I've selected uh, that inf uh, the information in iTunes to bring it to ask me to import the CD as soon as it is inserted, we get this little screen. So would you like to import the CD based on a true story into your iTunes uh, library? So I'm going to click Yes. Um, if you don't want them to ask you this again, click this. But I usually like them to ask me because sometimes when I'm have a CD in, I've got iTunes open, I don't necessarily want it transferred across. So I'm going to go yes, and away iTunes goes, so it's importing the first track. Um, as you can see, all the file names, uh, you know, the, the track names, the band, artist name, the album title, and the, and the genre are all sort of taken from the internet, as because we had that box ticked. Um, and that is pretty much it. Um, yeah, there is, let's see if I can find it, uh, yeah, this section here, this just uh, shows you where you're going to, um, where, this, where the music is going to get transferred to. So what you do to, fight, to change the transfer location, just click on the half shaded box again, hit preferences. Uh, click on the advanced icon, and then under the iTunes Media folder location, just change it to a folder of your choice. Um, I, I just leave it at the default because I don't really import a lot of CDs, but yeah, that's it. Um, that's how you import a CD into MP3 format via iTunes. And you basically just wait until uh, it goes through so all the songs are just uh, got the little green circle ticked, and that's it. Cool. Thanks.